motivating and inspiring others around the world, award-winning speaker and best-selling author, Dr. Willie Jolly, shares his tools to keep us on the right path towards success physically and also upstairs mentally. So get ready to wake up and win because he joins us this morning with what we need to know to survive and thrive and fight against COVID-19. Good morning, Dr. Willie Jolly. Always so great to talk with you. And I know we got a lot to get to. You got five principles in your pocket that you say are proven to work. Where do we start with this? Well, first, good morning, and it is a good morning. Every day you wake up is a good morning, so be grateful for every day. That's first of all. Second all right. is, there are some tips that I want to share. Many people know that I was the guy who helped Ford Motor Company. They brought me in when they weren't in a crisis moment, and we were able to help Ford go from the brink of bankruptcy to being able to reject a government bailout and go on to billion-dollar profits. Since then, I've spoke with and worked with many companies who are in crisis. So I want to talk to Americans right now who are in crisis, and particularly those in my home city of Washington, D.C., to help us through this crisis moment. A couple things that I'm going to give you real quick in rapid order, and they're taken from my book, uh, Setback is a Setup for a Comeback, and my book turns setbacks into greenbacks. Hope y'all can see that. Here we go. Number one, don't panic. It's critically important that you do not panic. You must be clear thinking. Panic is taken from the Greek word to choke. And when you panic, you choke off the air to your brain so you cannot make clear, decisive decisions. You must not panic. In 1929, there was a stock market pack crash. People panicked. Some jumped off of bridges and ended their lives not realizing the market would come back. This, too, shall pass. Number two, don't willingly participate nor commiserate, which that means is don't become part of the problem. You're either part of the problem or part of the solution. And the way to stay part of, away from being part of the problem right now is don't get sick. Don't do what they didn't tell. They told you not to do. Stay home. Wash your hands. Stay six feet away from people. Someone said to me, I don't want to be six feet from somebody. I said, you got two choices. You can be six feet away from somebody or six feet under. You got two choices. Now, mm -hmm. don't participate. <laughs> and then don't commiserate. Don't buy into the gloom and the doom. Look, if you take a sponge and put it in a bucket of water, at some point it becomes oversaturated and cannot soak up any more, more water, which it was designed to do. The same is true for you. So make a point to talk some about some positive things, good things. I do a, a, day, a weekly Saturday morning show called The Good News Report, where I don't give you anything but good news because I want people to be inspired. Number three, don't let your pride poison your prosperity. That's a big one because in these times, everybody needs money. Every industry has been disrupted. So I'm encouraging people to do something different, maybe think different. I'll give you an example. My daughter, she's a a uh, hairdresser, or what you know, I call a beautician, or whatever you, cosmetologist down in North Carolina, and that industry has come to a screeching halt. But she could cook, so what she did was start cooking meals, put it on Facebook, and told people, "I've got meals if you don't want to cook." And they uh, send her money via Cash App. She drives there home, puts it on their doorstep text them, say your meal is here. She's making money. Don't let your pride poison your prosperity. Number five, four. Be proactive. You've got to be proactive now. You've got to be working on new ideas, maybe learning a new language, learning something new, and new ideas is a good time. And number five is be creative. Many people know that I am uh, a speaker, but I used to be a singer right here in Washington. So during this time of isolation, I created a music video, put it out online. It's blowing up called We'll Get Through This. If you go to winwithwillie.com, you can see the video. People all over the globe are saying it's changing their thinking. We'll get through this. So go to winwithwillie.com. Look, if don't panic, don't willingly participate in a commiserate, don't let your pride poison your prosperity, be proactive. Be creative. I'm giving you a six one free. Be prayerful. That one I, is free. Look at you. And the great thing is, is that, you know, you are a big believer that words have power and it's all yes. about, you know, pivoting and making that choice, waking up and, and choosing to have a positive outlook. And so my, my one question to you before we go, because I know we covered a lot of things real quick. How do you pivot quickly when you're dealing with a loss of a job or perhaps even a loss of a loved one during this? Look, pivot is a mindset. You know, the, the, what I said, be, uh, be, uh, be proactive. That's really the pivot. You got it now. Okay, this ain't working. This is not going to work right now. I can tell everybody, I'm in the speaking industry, and my, my calendar was full. If you saw my calendar up here, it was full of speaking engagements all over the world. And 
All of a sudden, they came to a screeching halt. So what did I do? I had to pivot. I had to say, okay, that's not going to happen. So now i got to pivot. It's a mindset. It's a it's an attitude. So I pivoted. I said, okay, I'm going online. I started doing more online interviews. I'm doing interviews all day long all over the world. I'm doing more music. I'm doing a daily positive messages that go out on radio. Um, I'm doing all of this because I had to shift. You are, that was and we are so thankful... Uh, Dr. Willie Jolly, because you're helping us keep things in mind to power through this we'll pandemic get through and get this. more information at when, when, we will, winwithwilly.com for more information. Allison, you can't help but feel fired up after listening to Dr. Jolly.